Shalom family. I hope everybody's keeping well in these challenging times. We give thanks because we know that Yeshua is with us. He's with us in the, in the boat. He's with us through the storms. And so we have nothing to worry about. Today's devotional is taken from John 2 verses 1 to 12. And we're looking at the verses that talk about Jesus, Yeshua, turning water into wine. I'm going to read from verses 1 to 11, and then we're going to have a thought about what these scriptures actually mean. And so on the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Yeshua's mother was there, and Yeshua and his disciples, they'd also been invited. When the wine was gone... Yeshua's mother said to him, they've no more wine. Yeshua's response was, woman, why do you involve me? My hour has not yet come. Yeshua's mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you to do. Whatever he tells you to do, just do it. Sounds familiar. Nearby stood six stone water jars the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing. He, each of them, held 20 to 30 gallons. Yeshua said to the servants, fill the jars with water, so they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realise where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water, they knew. Then he called the, the bridegroom aside and he said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What, did, what Yeshua did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. So what kind of thoughts have we got about that scripture that we've just heard? My first thought was the venue. Actually, before the venue, it talks about the third day. So what do we think significant about the third day? Wasn't the third day the day that Yeshua rose after his crucifixion? Wasn't that the resurrection, the third day? Okay. Also, the venue, the wedding took place in Cana of Galilee. Now, from what I understand, Cana means reed and Galilee um, was a despised place. And Cana also means fragile and weak. So I think that what that scripture there, those few words was talking about was that maybe Cana was a place where there was a lot of weak, fragile people in a kind of area that... Um, most people probably wouldn't have wanted to associate. We have those areas here in Nottingham and um, I'll name a few. We have St. Anne's, we have the Meadows, Heiss and Green. Um, they're the kind of areas that you hear people talking quite negatively about and you probably wouldn't get um, royalty um, necessarily um, wishing to visit those areas, although we know that um, Prince Harry has. Um, but in the main, they're the kind of areas that don't really get um, good media kind of feedback. It's usually quite negative. But this is where Yeshua was. His mother was always, she was all, um, already at the wedding. So that was interesting. It sounds to me like Yeshua, his mum and his disciples, um, that they were quite used to being in Galilee or places like Galilee. Where, you know, obviously there was a need in those areas. But he was quite happy to mix with the lowly people, the despised people, in places that we may think twice to visit. And also, we're reading John seven fifty two, where the Pharisees answered, answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and see, see then that no prophet arises out of Galilee. So, yeah, I think the um, Pharisees thought quite lowly of um, Galilee. I think that's fair to say. So what was Yeshua doing there? I think we read, as we read through this, um, these scriptures, we realise that, yes, it was the third day and he had attended the wedding. And I think that Yeshua went 
to this wedding to turn death into life. We know that a wedding signifies a union of two people. The wedding feast is about celebrating. It's about celebrating um, the joining of two people. It's a time to celebrate. Yeshua's mother, she's told the servants whatever he said to do, to do. So what about us? Do we do what Yeshua tells us to do? What if it doesn't make sense to us? It probably didn't make sense, but the servants followed anyway, and they did as they were told. Are we being obedient to the spirit of Yahweh as the spirit speaks to us? That's what comes to mind for me. And are we prepared to go into these despised places within our communities? I think Yahweh's preparing us for this. Yeshua's preparing us and most definitely the Holy Spirit has been speaking through our leader during this time of preparation and waiting that we need to be preparing to go into these places, these places within our own communities. We need to allow the spirit of Yahweh to lead because the spirit of Yahweh wants to reach the pots that are full of water. These pots are full of death. We were once full of death, spiritual death. Are we available and are we ready to walk with the spirit of Yahweh as he directs our paths into these communities? So we can see that the water pots, the water represents death and the wine represents new life. So you, if we think about this, I think we would all agree that Yeshua's attendance at the wedding, it was for a purpose. There was a need, the people had a need. There was a need for the saviour, Yeshua. There was a need for his power, the wine ran out. Imagine having a wedding and your wine runs out at the wedding, how embarrassing. I think that would cause a lot of us a lot of stress. But Yeshua intervened. He's come to reach the lost and to receive the lost, the lowly and the despised, of which I and you were once one. The power of the Holy Spirit is able to transform our lives as we are obedient to the Holy Spirit. He's an ever-present help and he's here to turn our water, our dead lives, into wine, which is new life. So may Yahweh bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he give you his shalom, his peace that surpasses understanding as we prepare to move forward into the work that Yahweh has for us. May we be obedient like the servants when Yeshua's mother said, to the servants, do whatever he tells you to do. Because we can see that the results are magnificent as a result of being obedient to the spirit. And so I wish you well, have a blessed day. Shalom.